guys this is Anita with Coastal Designs uh, I wanted to get on here real quick hopefully I can get this done before the storms come in we have a hurricane uh, heading our way so I'm going to try to get this done and hopefully you'll enjoy it uh, this is one of our new uh, stencils that just was released on Wednesday uh, today is July 31st Friday and this is called she is a sunflower it's an eight and a half by eleven um, so I usually have these open but for some people that are brand new uh, to watching my channel and everything I just want to show you how we did it from the very beginning this is how our transfers or stencils come and then I'm going to take my fuzzing cloth. Oh, actually, before I do that, since this is a brand new stencil, I'm going to take my Sharpie and right on the back. You could probably you could probably write back or or that. Sometimes I'll write back or I write out what it is um, because that way when we go to put this back on, we know that we don't want to stick it on this side because this isn't the sticky side to help clean the uh, stencil too. And I'll show you. So let me lay this down. I don't know if you can see the see the shiny part. That's the part that the stencil will cling to where this is like a more matted. That's why. You always want to mark your back so you know which side you're going to stick it to. Alright, so I'm going to fuzz this a couple of times because it is a brand new stencil. My daughter loves sunflowers, so I'm going to... Uh, make this for her and send it to her in Virginia. You can tell and see how sticky it is. So I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure. Because you don't want it too sticky where it when you're pulling it up after you've chopped it and you, because you don't want to um, pull or stretch your transfer. That's what I got on this. Alright. So, this would actually be cute on a t-shirt too. Just trying to center it the best I can. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. And I just want to make sure that all of where my silk screen is is gonna have all my air pockets out. And I usually just take a, a squeegee and and uh, run it through just to make sure that they're all out. So I am going to use bright white. Uh, this is chocolate brown, pumpkin, and daffodil are my colors that I'm going to use. I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a hot mess technique or if I'm going to do an ombre kind of thing here, but I do know that I want to have some words in white and then of and sunflower in yellow. I do know that much. <laughs> I'm going to kind of do the peel and chalk technique because I want to get this side done first. Ooh. I'm just going back over and making sure that I don't have any uh, 
lines in the words. Here I want to work uh, kind of quickly because I don't want my paste to dry. And I'm just going to flatten those out. Alright, so what I'm going to do here just pull this corner, this section up. Alright, now I'm going to take my heat tool and heat set this side and then I'll lay it back down and do the, the sunflower. So you may want to mute yourself because I don't know how to do that yet. I did pull up some of this, so I'm just going to run my finger back down on it. And just make sure that that's good. Perfect. Now, um, hmm. I probably don't need the one. What I was thinking of, the middle part being the brown, and then uh, chalking out some yellow and then doing the tips is orange so that's what I'm gonna try for if I don't like it or it doesn't turn out the way that I'm hoping I can always uh, start over that's the beauty of our product if we don't like it, you just wet it and start over. And I'm going to leave that like that for a minute because I don't want it to dry while I'm doing the other. Oh crud! Well, we're just going to do it this way. I'm going to have a little bitty, I'm not going to do as much, wasn't going to do much orange anyway. So we're just going to do it uh, like that. I wanted more yellow anyway. Oh, I can't believe I did that. But that's okay, because, you know, sometimes when you make a boo-boo, they're the best, the best kind. And I am running it into the other color, which is fine. Because um, I kind of want it to, to blend or bleed. I guess that's what you can say. Alright, so. Actually, I probably need to take that off. I'm going to take some of that off. It's not going to go back in my jar. fix my R, but so 
so cute. Didn't come out too bad. But then again, I mean, you can you don't even have to blend the yellow, I mean the orange, you can just do it all uh, daffodil. I do, I am going to go back over this with my white and fix that because some of the brown bled into it. But overall, it is so cute. And then I'll get, so I can get a, a sunflower and hot glue it right here or put some down here. I think it's going to make a cute gift for her because she is my sunflower. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for tuning in with me and I will see you soon. Happy chalking.